Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to explain about volumes. So volumes are important. Whenever we are launching an EC2 instance, so after selecting AMI and selecting instant type, configuring additional settings, we need to choose volumes. So basically, we have two root device types available with Amazon Web Services. The first and widely used one is EBS and the second one is instant store so first i'll try to explain this instant store this instant store also called as ephemeral storages and that means temporary ephemeral stands for temporary so now what are the data you are going to store here it is going to store for temporary purpose and um, Whenever you're trying to launch your EC2 instance, you cannot find these. If the underlying EC2 uh, instance failure happen, hardware failure happen, we are going to lose our data. So now, whenever you're selecting this launch instance, and if you try to look for these options here, you can find root device type as EBS. And if you scroll down to the ages and ages, you can find only EBS. So if you want to launch an instance store volume, you can go to this community AMIs and scroll down here. You can find root device types. So I'm going to filter these with instant store supportable ones. And I'm selecting Amazon Linux AMI. And it is not uh, supporting T2 Micro. So I'm coming out from free tier eligibility. So make sure whenever you're performing lab, just um, be clear with that option. So I'm not in free tire limitation now. So I'm going to choose an EC2 instance R3 large, or else you can choose another EC2 instance categories also. So we have many Amazon Linux AMIs. And here, select the required configuration. I'm selecting R3 large, then click on next. And here I'm going with all the default option when coming to storage. Here, if you observe this volume type is instant store and device name, you can give any. And here size is 32 gigs by default we are getting. And this is vary from instant type, from one instant type to another instant type. And here I'm an instant store page. And if you read this, instance store provide temporary block level storage for your instance as that is a temporary we can use this for buffers caches crash data and other temporary content only so here is an underlying image here is a host computer then we are going to have instance store uh, ephemeral storages volumes then we are going to have our instances so the instant store lifetime, if the underlying disk drive failure happen, the instant stops or instant terminates, we are going to lose all our data. And here, based on select instant type, we are going to get the instant store volume. So as I have selected, um, R3 large, so, I'm getting 132 gigs of the SSD volume. Okay, even you can do one thing, you can remove this, even you can continue. By default, you are going to get the 32 gigs. So I'm going to call this as instant store. And there is no EBS volume. I'm attaching this tag to my EC2 instance. Then I'm selecting an existing security group, AWS uh, 730AM. So that is open with SSH, HTTP, and RDP review. And here, observe, I'm not in free tire limitation as I'm launching R3 large EC2 instance. Click on launch instance. I'm selecting a key pair. Click on launch instance. Click on view instances. So by default, I'm going to get 32 gig volume attached to the EC2 instance. But again, if you go to this volume screen, you cannot find any volumes. Why? Because here we are going to have EBS volumes. And the main disadvantage for this ephemeral stories, we cannot 
stop or start the instance. For an EBS one, we can stop, we can start. So here if you go, instance store baked instances cannot be stopped. If you want to reboot, you can reboot the underlying operating system or else you can terminate, but there is no start and stop option for this instance store. And for this instance store, we will lose the data in these three cases. If underlying disk failure happen, if the instance stops and the instant terminates, then in what case we are going to use for For all these cases, we are going to use for buffers, for cache, for scratch data and other temporary content. Or if you want to deliver content, um, a replica fleet of EC2 instances, back of a load balancer, we can use this instance store. So mostly we are going to use this instance store on a specific purposes. So, Amazon criticized a lot for this instance store. So later on, Amazon introduced EBS volumes. So this stands for Elastic Block Storage. So we are going to look into this Elastic Block Storage in our next video. Thank you.